preparing all students for life may be the Department of Education's mission statement, but according to Governor Eddie Calvo's communication director, Troy Torres, it should be reevaluated as Guam students aren't making the grades, evident by high dropout rates, low test scores, and the number of college freshmen in remedial classes. Torres, who heads the Educational Learning Task Force's Reform Action Committee, says it takes more than just receiving a diploma to succeed in life. So the question is, are they prepared for life? And um, that's the first thing that we're going to look at. The second thing we're going to look at is uh, what is the present condition of, uh, of students? What is the present condition of the 18 to 22-year-olds who the governor mentioned in his uh, State of the Island address who graduated from high school for the last four years? The Reform Action Committee met Monday afternoon and includes Senator Aline Yamashita, Guam Education Board members Barry Mead and Rosie Tainatongo, and Vicente Beneventi Middle School Principal Dexter Fulo. The next thing we're going to do is to find, to find out well, what are the barriers that hinder student achievement that have led to this present condition and then what are the solutions? What can we do to change things and to make the reforms that, quite frankly, Principals and teachers have been advocating for reforms for a very long time. Reforms that, according to Task Force Chairperson Vince Leon Guerrero, not only requires financing, but time. If our students are this far behind the U.S. students and much further behind our neighbors in Asia, we really can't say that the current number of hours a day, a week, a year is adequate for us to catch up. We're just going to lag further and further behind. So I really believe that the dialogue has already started, uh, and that's the reason why we wanted to call it the Educational Learning Task Force and not just a Repair and Renovation Task Force. The task force is set to meet as a whole on February 23rd at 3.30 p.m. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.